Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to execute test cases in Jira. So as in previous sessions, we have learned about Zephyr test management plugin, adding the test cases, cloning test cases, etc. Adding, adding the test cycle and then pulling out the test cases in those test cycles. So the next step, once next step in that test cycle is to execute those test cases so once you have pulled out the test cases in test cycle then you need to execute those test cases and see whether the particular build satisfies the criteria or the requirements defined for that particular uh, story or for for that particular build okay so in order to execute the test case you need to i uh, you need to find the test case so either you can do the ad hoc test execution or you can go to the test cycle and see the test cases that are assigned within the test cycle and assigned to you as a member of the team and then you start execution from there. So to do the ad hoc test execution, you just need to go to the tests tab at the top and search for the tests. Okay, so now it will list for uh, all the test cases within within the project. You need to select the project for which you need to um, find the test cases. So, for example, I want to see, I want to execute verify member user can log into member Mumba web portal. Open that test case, and you will see the execute button at the top. Okay, to execute the test case, you just simply need to click on that execute button, and you will see that execute ad hoc option available and add to existing test cycle and execute so in case you do an ad hoc execution for this test case it, uh, as as part of you know like it's if it is not part of any execution test cycle then you select the ad hoc execution and then assign to yourself and click on execute so it will open the execution page it will show you the execution status and assignee as yourself so as i assigned this test case to myself so assign to field has been updated and i'm the assignee of this test case right so now you can see all the test details listed here so you can start with the step one and start uh, the actual test execution and open the test url and see whether the login page is displayed or not if it is displayed in the in the internet explorer you can just select the pass fail or um, whatever outcome of that particular step is so for example it passed i'll select pass and save okay then second step is you enter the member username and password and see what happens next so if the second step fail then select the fail and save the status now why it failed you have the option to enter the comment so you can directly type in your comment and save the comment and also enter the attachments from here so you add the attachments directly or um, basically paste the image as the attachment it will save in the attachment section of this step now you can directly enter the issue in um, in this particular step as well you can create new issue directly from this step okay so if you if i click create new issue it will open the create issue page you select the bug and provide all the summary and it will automatically you know, like provide summary all the description what you noticed for that particular step and create the issue it will create an issue and assign the issue number uh, a link to the issue number here okay or if you have already created an issue you can directly start typing the issue number and enter the defect detail and it will save that link the defect link for that particular step once you are done with execution then change the execution status save it and that's it so your execution has been recorded with all the details that you have provided and you see that execution has been captured as part of unscheduled ad hoc execution so if you go to the details here you see the unreleased there is unscheduled folder uh, and there is ad hoc execution so the, your test case will be marked as fail uh, under the ad hoc 
cycle all right now the second option to do the execution is to go to the uh, test cycle okay so we can go to the uh, plan test cycle and we have planned some test cycle in version 2 right so for example SIT cycle under UI you can see the test cases that have been planned already so for example these five test cases have been assigned to Mary and then she can go to the UI under SIT cycle 1 and click on this E um, icon here button here and it will open the test execution page she'll go through the test execution and mark the test case as pass or fail right. um, the next option in the execution is to add the test case so previously we saw you can execute as an ad hoc the other way is also to add the test cases as you start execution so you open the test case and when you click on execute you can add this test case to an existing test cycle and execute so for example you want to add it to version 2 into online 2.1 cycle and ui test folder and then assign to yourself and start execution so this way it will add that particular test case in that uh, in in the planned cycle and then you can execute the particular test so once execution is done you mark it as either pass or fail and then go back to the test cycle right. and you'll see the status has been updated into the test cycle as passed all right so that is all about test execution in Jira in next tutorial we will learn how to create favorite search filters in um, Jira Thank you.